To change your store's general settings, click Settings and then click on General. To temporarily close your store, click Close Storefront for maintenance. To reopen your store, click Open Store. You can also change your store's name, email address, physical address and phone number from this screen. Click Save after you're done. Use the Regional Settings tab to set your store's default currency, conversion rate, weight and size units, your storefront language, or how dates and times are displayed. Click the Cart and Checkout tab to hide out-of-stock products and configure product sorting order. Below, you can also find Checkout settings, where you can configure options to specify things like minimum allowed subtotal and if a phone number is required. Compare to price settings, order comments, eGood settings, where you can set how long download links stay active, order ID settings, and related product settings. By default, your storefront automatically calculates tax rates based on your store and customer locations. To manually enter tax rates, first click on Settings and then on Taxes. Next, disable the automatic tax rate, then scroll to the Manual section and click Manage Tax Rates to configure your tax settings. This feature is particularly useful if your products include non-taxable products or products that are taxed at lower rates, such as home fuels and children's wear. You can use this checkbox to set whether taxes are shown directly in product prices, which can be useful for trade counters. Click the Add New Tax button, then give the tax a name. By default, the tax is enabled for all products, but you can uncheck the box to change that. Choose whether the tax applies to an order's subtotal or the subtotal plus shipping. Check the box below if you'd like the tax to be automatically included in product prices. You can choose whether the zone is defined by the shipping address or billing address. Enter a rate to apply this tax to all destinations or click the Specify Rates Per Zone button to add a custom tax rate based on a zone. When you're finished, click Save before leaving the page. Use the Mail tab to change when and if email notifications are sent to customers. To disable email notifications, click on its corresponding toggle. You can customize the text and appearance of an email notification using the HTML editor. To access the editor, click the Edit button. Use the arrow button to preview the notification or to send a test email. You can also change the email address and name that customers will see when receiving notifications. Your store includes a built-in invoice template. You can view the template under the Invoice menu. To add a logo to your invoices, click Invoice under Settings and click Upload Invoice Logo. You can add a VAT or business registration number to your invoices by clicking the Set Tax ID button. Finally, you can edit the template's HTML by clicking Edit Template. You can change the wording used on your shopping cart, add to bag buttons, and almost everything else using the Edit Store Labels feature. To customize your store's labels, click Settings, and then click Edit Store Labels. Click Add Custom Label. Search for a label, and then edit the text you'd like to change. This label will instantly propagate across your store. All of your custom labels can be viewed from the Custom Labels screen. Use the Revert button to revert a custom label to its default state.